this is our project shield. It's still loading. And uh, and so it's an Android-based device, and one of the key features that a lot of people are excited about is this PC streaming capability. So we're able to play our PC games on a Shield device, our Project Shield device. So as you can see here, we're basically running Need for Speed, most wanted, on our Shield device. And it's, you're getting PC quality graphics on it. PC quality on, yeah, so it's, graphics it's, on the yeah, uh, Project Shield device. And you're able to not control them very well. It's and crash and burn. But you can see, you know, speed wise, the input latency is really fast. Uh, we're able to get our input latency um, down to, I think it's, it's comparable, if not faster, than a console. Um, note that that's input latency. It's not necessarily your network latency, which is not exactly in our control. But um, I, I mentioned that because some people got confused during CES when we were talking about latency. They thought we were talking about um, network latency, but yeah, that's not something we can really control. So you can see that basically you can drive off cliffs and everything, and it's just like what you see on your PC. And it's really good for games like racing games like this, where we're able to unchain yourself from the PC. I'm able to play a racing game, a first-person shooter, or just in a more relaxed way. Granted, yes, I, I, I don't really recommend you play competitively on a Project Shield device, but it's definitely good for hanging out on your couch, play a first-person shooter on, in bed. It really opens up the possibilities of what you can do um, when it comes to streaming from your PC. And we're able to do that through our GeForce GTX cards and our GeForce Experience software that's available online. How difficult is it to set up the GeForce um, system between these two devices? It's very simple. All you have to do is go into GeForce Experience, click Stream, mm -hmm. Enable, basically. And here, just couple it. Couple, yeah. Okay. And then these two are just coupled. Now today we're using wired because uh, of the environment. It's kind of a trade show environment, so there's a lot of interference mm -hmm. and whatnot. When we were setting up, when there was no one else here, I was able to use Wi-Fi, no problem. And because, you know, basically we're just encoding a video on the system. All processing is run on PC. And we're encoding that into an H.264 video and sending it to the device. So it's basically just a video. You don't need a lot of bandwidth for it. You don't need, you know, you don't, as long as you don't need to buffer it either. So it's not too bad. It's, you know, the network uh, requirements aren't very high. Because some people think, oh, you're playing off a PC. Oh, you must need like a really, really fast um, uh, network and whatnot. That's not entirely true. Um, you know, it's, it's not like latency like you would see in an online game where ping is a lot more important. This is actually, because I'm just sending a video over, so it's actually less loading. And, you know, obviously we're able to play native um, Android games when you're on the go, when you're not at home. And a lot of games today already support uh, controllers. So it's, it's another way to play with it. Right? So we're really introducing new ways to play with your, your PC games, your Android games, and just making it, you know, obviously it's for the gamer, right? So um, that's our target audience. And we hope that this is another capability that people have fun uh, in more places and more ways.